good night for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even though it was a little warm today, we are cooling off, so it's going to be a comfortable evening. And I like to say, Madera, you get the cool air first before the rest of the valley get that breeze going along 152, and it spills into Madera County. So 91 at 7 o'clock, but look how much temperatures drop by 9 o'clock, near 80 degrees. And when things wrap up tonight, about 11 o'clock or so, dropping into the mid-70s. And a little breezy winds will be from the northwest, about 16 miles an hour. So keep that in mind if you're headed out there for tonight. Quick look outside our Fresno Sky Cam, where it's hazy out there tonight, especially if we look to the east. Again, most of this is wildfire smoke from Northern California. As long as high pressure builds over us, this is going to be a problem until we get uh, our first big rainmaker of the season. 97 today in Fresno, above the average of 94, but below the record of 106 set back in 1988. Not as hot as we thought today because some cool air from the coast managed to spill into the valley, so that helped us out today. Not so much tomorrow. 93 was the high in Merced, 99 in Lemoore, 95 in Visalia. Our GE Clovis Supply and Sky Cam tonight in Old Town Clovis at Pulaski and Fifth shows everything's calm there, where it's 95 degrees, winds out of the west northwest at 15 miles an hour. Visibility for Fresno Clovis about nine miles this evening. In the North Valley, 91 in Merced right now. South Valley, we have 95 for Visalia and Lemoore. And compared to 24 hours ago, we're actually a little bit cooler compared to this time yesterday. That's that cooler that managed to spill into the valley uh, throughout the day. But notice we start to see yellows and orange on our map here. That's warm air. That's going to sneak back into the valley overnight tonight into tomorrow. Winds at one point this afternoon were about 20 miles an hour on the west side of the valley. They will continue to be breezy about 10 to 15 for most of the night. And visibility is about 8 to 9 miles for some locations, again, because of that haze lingering over us. And you see that here in our visible satellite imagery here. But we like to see this. The cooler along the coast, the fog and low clouds. We want that to spill into the valley, which it will next week. This ridge is going to stick around for a few more days, and it will break down a little bit towards the later part of the weekend. Even though we're going to cool off by Sunday, it's still going to be warm for this time of year. But the bigger cool down, a stronger trough digs into California by this time next week. Moderate air quality to unhealthy for Sunset groups across the valley for tomorrow. Up in the Sierra, mostly sunny skies. The threat of thunderstorms is dying down. We'll see a few clouds develop on the backside, but still mild for September, but not bad. 76 in Sequoia, 79 in Huntington tomorrow, 90 for Bass Lake, and 85 for Fish Camp. Photo communities, hazy sunshine. Most spots tomorrow will be in the 90s. Still a little warm for September. Tonight in the valley, overnight lows in the 60s. It'll be breezy early on in the evening with winds from the northwest about 10 to 15 miles an hour. So tomorrow... We're going to hit 100. That would be the 55th time this year. The average is 36, and we're above last year's of 53. But some relief by the end of the weekend. More seasonable temperatures, especially on Tuesday, but 89 Wednesday into Thursday. Maybe even some low to mid 80s in the North Valley. That's going to definitely ah. feel a lot like fall, especially in the morning. Temperatures will be in the 50s. A little, little fall chill next week. Low oh. 80s. Put something crisp in there. That sounds good. <laughs> right? Maybe some yeah. hot cocoa, some apple pie. And wow. Well, <laughs> oh, now you got me wishing and thinking. Thanks, Ruben. <laughs>